In this video, we will see adding raster values to polygons. We will be using the library raster and we will setting the working directory. Already in several video I have shown how to do it. We have to use set wd and define the path. While defining path, this you have to remember that we have to use backslash double type or slash like this. We can use a combination of these also. So run it. Now we can read individual rasters. So already in previous video also we have read it. How to read single bands and making a raster a stack and then saving them, them as a layer stack. So we, we can directly read this layer stack here and plot it using plot RGB and remember to use stretch argument also and then name. Now we can rename it. So for renaming we have to use name and this stack and we have to give a list of names in this manner. Now see the names. So names we have changed. Now we will be reading the polygons. So this is the polygon I am having and for reading this polygon you have to again use function save file. So a large special polygon data frame have been created. Now go to plot it. So we will be plotting on top of this raster itself. So for that you have to use add equal to true. So the polygons you can see plotted on the raster. Again here in the previous video I have shown if the projections are not the same then you have to assign the projection of raster to the vector. So for that you have to transform the projection of vector file. So that I am skipping we can see in the previous video. So now we will extract. So extract the polygon and this is the mean. So suppose in this case, suppose this is a big polygon. It will extract the mean of all the pixel values falling in the polygon. So I am extracting it. It will take some time. So once completed, now we will join this extract, these extracted values to the polygon. So this is the polygon and this is the extracted value creating a new polygon by joining the extracted values to polygons. Now you can see the names and header. So this is for each polygon. Whatever the pixels are falling, falling in that polygon, the mean of that will be assigned to each polygon. Now we can save it using function save file. Get the object means this new polygon and the name of that that new polygon and overwrite is equal to 2 I have written because already I have created so it will be overwriting that. So run it. Now similarly so here I have extracted the mean value of all the pixels falling within a polygon. Here we can also have minimum or maximum or median or mode values. So that also you can try and the rest of the procedure are same. Thank you for watching.